G'day. Have you ever wanted a crane in your shed so you could do things like this? I came in like a wrecking ball. Me too. That's why I bought one. And not from where I expected to get it from either. So, let's have a look. Never thought I'd find myself here at the Holden, old Holden factory plant, buying some workshop stuff and found myself a crane. So, there's a marketplace, gonna make things a lot easier for me. I don't have to bust my back trying to uh, lift everything and yeah, hopefully mount that to, to one of my beams in my shed. Make things easy. Way too long. <laughs> All strapped in. It's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, what a bit of a gander as we head on out. Um, yeah, with a few different plant sections and stuff, final assembly. Uh, I think that was like a fasteners one as well. So we'll have a bit of a sticky beak. I forgot to add, unfortunately, old mate who sold me the crane said no to any filming inside the factory apparently they're very strict on that so yeah i didn't get anything on the inside apart from this sneaky little clip uh, but yeah you'll have to put up with the stuff on the outside now the guy i was dealing with uh they just bought this crane off i did ask him if i could do a bit of filming inside because where i just was was where like the engine stands and that are that they they're sort of inbuilt to the ground on like a railway system pretty much and I had a look at the engine stands because I, I wanted one I was like ah oh, an engine stand from Holden that would be freaking awesome but it would just be a useless thing in my shed doing nothing um, so I didn't bother because yeah for the way I do engines and most people um, yeah they're pointless they don't even rotate on the horizontal they sort of lift and then spin around um, the other way so yeah, I'll give that a miss. This place is massive, like, in its day it would have been so awesome to see. I wish I had have done a tour back in the day. But there is just so much building space. But it's good to see it is filling up with tenants, I suppose they say. This is warehouse after warehouse. Loaded there, all the um, what do you want to call them? Roller things. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this big totem pole. Um, yeah, obviously, you've got to cut the um, mounts off the top. Um, they've already got the bolt holes and everything lined up for the brackets on the arms. Um, so, yeah, you've got to cut them off and probably weld them onto my beam over there. I don't think I want to mount it on the ground because then I've got to do diner bolts and that into my floor. Yeah, don't think I really want it. But anyway, might be able to work something out even. Don't know. He doesn't know either. Do you? Where do I put it? Don't know, do you?
Put it up, put it. Yeah, no comment. I don't know why I stood it up. I don't know if you can still sort of see the dust in the sky. Just tried moving the pole. Don't know why I had it up. I still need to cut things off. Anyway, it fell over. Oh, stuff me concrete. And broke my sack truck. But anyway, it missed the car. <laughs> Just uh, it, ugh. Me. it's like truck wheel. Uh, yeah, I knew I should have probably had the camera on when that happened, but anyway. Um, well, now it's on the ground. I'm going to cut those brackets off now. <laughs> Done. And this welder off. It was noisy. Gotta remember to turn the gas off too. Oof. Slowly but surely. Now you've got to find something heavy to test it. And there it is, all together, being used. It's actually been very helpful uh, for the job that I'm doing at the moment. Got a Komatsu grader transmission. Um, housings are pretty big. Got the case housings there. They're about hip height. Um, and then even now on the bench, that's the torque converter. It's probably about two, two foot in diameter. Um, weighs probably about 100 kilos. So... Um, yeah, that crane is, this is exactly why I wanted to get it. So I could do stuff like this. Uh, it's not like I have neighbors right next door or anything like that that can come over and give us a hand with a lift. So. And it's been pretty cool to know that this has come from the Holden factory. I'm pretty sure it might have been in the steering section. Maybe it had a bit of writing on there um, said steering. So yeah, not sure if it was part of that department or not for steering racks or whatever. Um, but yeah, pretty stoked to have something that's, kind of part of Australian motoring history so 
even though I'm a Ford guy, it's still pretty cool. I also want to say a massive thank you to everyone who commented and messaged me after my last video. Yes, it feels bloody good to be back. Um, and yeah, thank you for the very warm welcoming and thank you for the congratulations on the young fella. It's been awesome. And um, yeah, thanks very much again for watching. Until the next video, be good or be good at it. Catch ya.